what's good everybody it's your boy oh shay duke jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk dima gangster music now guys this is definitely some gangster ish going on out here in these harlem streets now remember a few months ago alpo he got killed around halloween night uh the next morning uh gunshots he was uh struck several times in his vehicle and we all believe that it was a hit because according to people uh the bullets are with precision and whoever pulled up next to him you know hit him you know directly and he died he lost control of the car he died right and many of us believe that it was payback for all the things he did you know there was big head gary in dc um there was rich porter uh, so many guys that you know alpo had either killed or, or or had snitched on that you know it was somebody that was waiting on him to actually get back but the reality is is that the person who actually was the gunman is only 27 years old mr shakim parker now alpo is 55 or was 55 which means that by the time that alpo was in the streets shakim parker was not even born so that isn't that there is no correlation between the fact that Alpo did something to Shaquem Parker's family or anything like that. What was the issue all about? Can I get a da 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 sound effect, Dima? Well, it was about Alpo in a motorcycle driving dangerously on uh, on, on Harlem streets, basically disrespecting people. Okay, and what ended up happening was is that Shaquem Parker felt disrespected because Alpo Martinez was driving recklessly down the street and pretty much, you know, and I, I kind of understand how it is, right? Alpo Martinez probably felt like, listen, dude, I'm the king of Harlem still. Like, people been talking about me. You a young buck in the game. Like, how, how dare you feel disrespected? I'm Alpo Martinez. I'm the real deal. You know, people got movies out about me. Like, who are you? You a, you a nobody. Like, you just a young dude, man. Like, shut up. You know what I'm saying? I got clout in this area, right? And they said that for months, Shaquem and Alpo kind of avoided each other, but here's what happened. Story time music! See guys, check this out. A lot of brothers get caught up from getting caught slipping, right? And what happened on this particular day, Shaquem wasn't even looking for him. But Alpo Martinez came out of the Halloween party and Shaquem Par Parker realized um, hey, that's Alpo Martinez's car, right? And um, it was on 151st Street, on 8th and Ave Avenue, and he saw it there. And when Alpo got into the car, gunshot Zima! That's what it was, all right? And now, again, Alpo was back in the game sell selling heroin um, under a fake identity and stuff like that. But what they call this is a crime of opportunity. Wasn't even looking for the dude. Just saw the dude like, okay, I'm gonna go get him right now. It's Alpo Martinez. He got a name. You know what I'm saying? He think he better than me. I'm going to do it. I want to talk um, to black men about something because, you know, one of the things I know about, <clears throat> I've heard about being in prison is that prison teaches guys um, how to respect each other, at least. At least it's what I heard. I could be wrong. I've never been in prison. But apparently rules in prison um, are, are much more stringent than in outside in the real world. Like, if you step on a guy's shoes, you better say, I'm sorry. Like, you know, things like that. Because pe disrespect is, is, is taken very seriously there. And people have to react on that based on that for fear of their reputation and things happening to them. And you would think that Alpo Martinez being like 50-something years old, like, bro, why are you on a motorcycle just zooming past people? That's something that young guys would do. You know, you're, you're an older guy now. And I understand that he hadn't been out there for a minute, but... You know, just on your motorcycle in Harlem, you're not supposed to be out there anyway. Like, what Like, what are you doing? But see, the, the, the things that got Alpo Martinez in trouble in the first place, he was still doing them. You know, like some people don't change who they are. And back in the 90s, that might not have got you, um, you know, and he probably looked at this guy as somebody that wasn't a real hitter. You know, like Alpo Martinez had been around um wayne perry and guys who were real stomp down killers in the 90s and the preacher's crew and people like that 
Um, so you know, Alpo looking at this young guy, like, man, like, you know, who like you, you like you a buster, man. Like, I'm the real deal. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not nobody, but you can never underestimate people. And see the things that you did or you were doing, just a little elements of disrespecting people, thinking that you that you know you can't be touched, um, and not being able to 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 get along and respect people is ultimately what got him killed. Had nothing to do with Rich Porter. But the same attitude and the problems that got him in jail got his life ended. And I I wanna um I wanna, you know, uh, uh ask black men that in our dealings with one another. We got to show respect because we don't know who had a bad day. You know, I know here on YouTube, you know, in the comment sections, I go back and forth with people and stuff like that. Um, but in real life, you know what I mean? And just like you guys are in real life, I, I do my best to everybody that I come across. I don't care if you think they're little guys or not. You don't know what somebody will do to you. You don't know what they're capable of. You don't know what violence they can do. And you also don't know how much they can help you. You know, it could have been that, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, once that disagreement happened, if he would have had some respect for the young brother, listen, man, I didn't mean to do that or whatever. It, it could have ended up being uh, friends. And I think that's what we need to understand, man. It's and especially when a guy don't have nothing to live for. You know, you got to think about this in, in, in New York where they got all kind of um, cameras, all kind of, you know, information. They're going to end up finding you. They just are right. And, and as black men, we got to learn how to have better understandings of stuff, how to get along with our brothers, you know, how to not disrespect people. Even even here in Africa, where, you know, people are not even aggressive like that. Um, I got my way to, to, to talk to people. People see me off of YouTube. They stop me in the mall. I go out and talk to people all the time. You know, what I mean, I try to show people respect certain guys, you know, um, you, you know we'll, 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 we'll talk for an hour or so. Uh, not to say I always will do it, but I always try to show the same respect to people that I want to get back. Because again, you just never know. And a guy like him at 55 years old, you get killed by a guy who, you know, for the for you know, like I said, nobody's gonna look at Shaquem Parker for being like he'll be known to the guy that killed Alpo, but he's not no probably like no real gangster like that. I mean, I'm not saying that he's not, but. You know what I mean? He's not like the, you know the, the guys that like Alpo got killed. You know what I mean? Um, it's, it's 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 fascinating. Fascinating how people's lives can end by not being able to to resolve conflicts. You know, and not, not knowing how to, uh, to, to 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 handle things and how to respect men. You know, men need respect. They have to have it, and if they don't get it. Um, you never know what that person's willing to do to punish you for it. It could be with your life. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy. O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again. Another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe with the bell. Check out the first company at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at an all time high. I'm out. Yeah.